सर हेलो एवरीबडी माय नेम इज उमेश एम अवर एम द न्यू ट्रेनिंग एंड प्लेसमेंट ऑफिसर फॉर वी डी आई टी एट हलिया टूडे वी हैव दिया सिस्टम्स एज अ रिक्रूटर एंड आई वेलकम दिया सिस्टम्स ऑफिशियल वेलकम यू सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर थैंक यू फॉर रियली अप्रिशिएट थैंक यू गुड प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सर प्लीज ए आई आई एम श्रीनिवास भट्ट वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर मैनेजर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स इन दिया सिस्टम्स आई हैव बीन वर्किंग विद फ्रॉम द लास्ट सेवन ईयर्स दिया सिस्टम ए कंपनी एक्चुअली इन ओपन इन द टेक्नोलॉजी वर्ल्ड वी स्टार्टेड आवर कंपनी इन 2001 एंड टुडे वी आर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 17 इयर्स इन द बिजनेस वी हैव द टू लाइंस ऑफ बिजनेसेस वन इज रिलेटिंग टू सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सेकंड वन इज रिलेटिंग टेक्निकल सेक्टर इज आवर मेजर रेवेन्यू वन वी हैव क्लोज टू 1450 पीपल आर वर्किंग इन माय ओन कंपनी एंड अनदर ऑफिस वी हैव एक्चुअली इन द यूएसए व्हिच इज इन अ कंसिस्टेंट स्टेट टू बी लेड डाउन Yeah. There are about to 50 people now working there. Our global headcount is related to 1,500. Okay. Uh, happy to visit uh, uh, Aliyar Engineering College. So nice to say that we have been associated with this college for the last three plus years. How was the experience? I would say actually rate as you know uh, 4.5 out of 5. Okay. Let us say that last time when we came in actually we picked up certain number of students. Close to 80% of the students uh, which we picked up in the last, they are still working with us and they are showing the good performance. Okay. One of the student who joined us three years back, who is currently you know promoted as a team manager level, that shows that how much hard work and dedication they have actually okay. showing in our organization. Okay. And another way we prove that you know kind of in the initial career, just in three years, we move to the team manager level. Okay. That way shows that how how best. have actually in established the career group of this people collective to come up very quickly to the organization like us okay what are your expectations from the new fresh engineering graduates two things i look into basically on the communication our uh, you know requirement basically goes on the writing skill on the english because we have close to 92% of our customer relating to the global market okay. and 8% is the domestic So they need to interact with our US customers and UK customers much more in the English language. Okay. So their English writing skill is the main priority. Okay. Second one, what I am looking them actually is their hard work and dedication, which will make them feel that they am the right resource, right uh, set to the organization. Okay. These two things, if they show it, that will hold them as a better resource. And we see that if they have the potential to become a great leader, we train them accordingly on a periodic basis. Can you just tell us some fresh juniors who are coming to pass out the next year? What are the preparations they have to go, and what exactly do you expect from the test? Uh, I would say for the technical support, which we generally hire, uh, my message to all these uh, who are all coming out for the next year, that's a 2019, they should be good in English talking and as well as writing, excellent in English writing. Okay. Plus, they should know what they are going to mention in that actually CV. They should be master in it. Take the example, like you know, uh, uh, they may be doing any project-related things. Okay. In that project, they should be master. Okay. So from the zero to Z, or maybe A to whatever number it is. So they should be able to say that they are uh, the master in that. Okay. They are sound in that. That whatever they mentioned, the CV, the container, and the writing and speaking skills in English is a master. They can win any matches, like you know, whatever the company is doing. They can. What are the challenges you are seeing as a from an industry point of view when it comes to hiring, sir? Whether it is respect to Karnataka or with respect to other states? Uh, I would say the recent uh, changes in the society, basically the one kid or two kids in every family. Okay. Sometimes our parents are very much, you know, kind of a uh, giving the shelter to these people or the youngsters. Mm-hmm. Uh, though they get certain people actually option to go maybe outside, you know, maybe to Karnataka or maybe many different places. Mm-hmm. Uh, parents will not allow them to take the risk. Okay. Yeah, so they say that hey, you try to work along with me or in any city or maybe related things actually like such. Okay. So we see the challenges when we came to North Karnataka side. Though we offer them hey, this all the facilities we have it like you know free accommodation, free transportation and related things. They were hesitant to come to city like that to city like Mangalore. Okay. And they said about why I need to go such a long distance. They're just 300 kilometers away from here to Mangalore. Okay. But even then, maybe you know certain places like Upali or maybe Nagaland and all, they feel that it's around here another 100 kilometers more. Okay. They say that you know kind of why my son or daughter need to go. Okay. The second thing. 
sort of message to the society is allow your you know, kids to take the risk and they can become a good leaders in the organization and the society also they can be better citizens. Okay, okay. Thank you for coming sir. I really appreciate thanks for you know inviting me and making this as one of the you know, great moments I would say. And I wish all the best to you for your assignment in the Thank you sir.